All right, so that was from uh, News One Now with Roland Martin, Wednesday, August 16th, 2017. Check that out on YouTube. Search for Roland Martin on YouTube. Uh, name of that clip was uh, The True History of Confederate Monuments and Why They Represent Racism. The True History of Confederate Monuments and Why They Represent Racism. Uh, the presentation I, I did dealing with the history of Confederate Monuments, why Robert E. Lee was against uh, the Confederate battle flag uh, and the monuments and the history of the Confederate battle, battle flag. We'll have that uploaded uh, at our website, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com tonight, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com. You'll be able to order that. That was a two-hour presentation I did uh, this past Thursday, August 17th, Marcus Garvey's birthday. Also check out the article from the Atlantic.com, the Atlantic.com, why there was a civil war why there was a civil war because they cite the reasons they cite the different states and uh the excerpts that i shared with you why they succeeded from the union mississippi louisiana texas uh it's in that article why there was a civil war it wasn't about states rights it was the right to keep african slaves on the line we have historian archaeologist lecturer author you've seen him in hidden colors to the triumph of melanin melanin you've seen him in detroit before we have the one and only the world renowned renoko rashidi the world traveler hotep my brother welcome to the african history network show how you doing tonight Thanks for having me. no problem no problem well look brother i got the email today that, that uh, you're going to be in detroit for a trifecta uh friday august 25th through sunday august 27th and I said, look, I got to reach out to Brother Renoco and get him on the show tonight, man. So let people know what's going to be taking place this coming weekend here in Detroit. Well, I have a two-part lecture at the um, True Oracles of God Ministry. That's at 1500 East State. Um, East State Fair. East State Fair and Hull. Mm -hmm. That's Friday and Saturday. Uh, Friday evening at 6.30 and... Um, Saturday afternoon at 2 p.m. It's a two-part presentation. Mm -hmm. The first part will deal with the African presence in America in ancient times, that is, before slavery. Mm -hmm. And then the second part on Saturday afternoon will focus on the African pre African resistance to enslavement with the centerpiece being um, the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey, whose birthday we just celebrated. Right. And then on Sunday, the 27th at 10 a.m., I'm going to lead a group through the Detroit Institute of Art. So that's my three-day program in Detroit. I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. Now, how can people get more information, get tickets, things like that? What, what should they do? Well, I suppose the easiest thing is just to get in touch with me directly. Okay. And my phone number is area code 323-803-8663. That's 323 8038663 or to email me which is even better and that's renoko at hotmail.com r u n o k o at hotmail.com okay renoko at hotmail.com you can email them that's the preferred method but you can also call uh renoko at 323-803-8663 is that correct that's correct, my brother. Okay. And uh, uh, Friday and Saturday, the admission is $12.50 per day. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, excellent. And Renoka will have his books there, his DVDs. I mean, you. I mean, this brother is a walking library. I've interviewed Renoko, I think it's six times in the past. Uh, and I saw him a couple years ago at the Black Homeschooling Conference in Atlanta. Uh, this brother is fantastic. He's a world traveler. Is it 110 Countries and islands, well, how many is it you've been to so far? I'm at 120 and counting now. Okay, 120. Okay, yeah. okay. 100. Renoko Rashidi, listen to this, people. Renoko Rashidi has traveled to 120 countries, islands around the world, and he takes pictures everywhere he goes. How many pictures do you have so far now in your library? Oh, brother, you know, I lost count. I'm sure 150,000 <laughs> or more. Okay, all right. So, yeah. <laughs> and he documents the African presence everywhere he goes. So, um, on Friday, you're dealing with part one of a two part lecture, the African presence in America before slavery. So, it's interesting I have you on today talking about this because uh, today is August 20th. 
So this is the anniversary of that uh, 20 some odd uh, Africans uh, on that Dutch warship, Jamestown, Virginia, okay? But a lot of people don't know that there were Africans in the Americas before that. Can you talk for a minute, a couple minutes about that? Why this is so significant? It's completely significant. I've been saying for many years now that perhaps the worst crime you can uh, commit is to teach a child that their history began with slavery. Yes. That seems to be our hallmark. In Black History Month in particular, there's an almost universal tendency on our part in the United States to begin with Chicken George, to begin <laughs> the enslavement phase. And we cripple ourselves psychologically. Mm -hmm. And even when we talk about enslavement, which is inevitable, we have to discuss it, I think that we need to put more emphasis on resistance to enslavement rather than the victimization. I sure don't want to um, demean the suffering of our ancestors, the untold right. suffering. Right. But we did more than suffer. We resisted, and that resistance can continues to today. So Friday night, both presentations will be very visual, but Friday night in particular, I'm going to talk no, about my recent exactly trip to Mexico. You know, I've been doing yeah. annual tours to Mexico for the last four years, in particular focusing on the Olmec civilization, which is important because it's the parent civilization of the Americas. Mm -hmm. And at the hierarchy or the pinnacle of Olmec civilization sat an African elite. So I'm going to show never before seen pictures, certainly in Michigan, of that. And then, as I say, on Saturday afternoon, we'll focus on resistance with the, uh, the high point being the life and times of the Honorable Mosarkin. Marcus Mosiah Garvey. Absolutely, whose birthday we just celebrated this past Thursday, August 17th, okay? Extremely, extremely, extremely important. And, you know, brother, uh, I give you credit because I, 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 in interviewing you and hearing you, I heard you use a phrase and I modified it and made it my own, but I give you credit for it. And I talk about how, um, you know, studying the reason, the, one of the reasons why we study African history is because what you do for yourself, what you do to yourself, and what you allow other people to do to you and get away with is based upon what you think about yourself. What you think about yourself is based upon what you've been taught about yourself. What you've been taught about yourself is based upon everything you've read, heard, and seen about yourself. So this is uh, extremely, extremely important work you're doing, uh, extremely, extremely important um, series that you have coming up. Um, so Sunday... Tell people, once again, what's taking place Sunday, because this is going to be a tour. Yes. You know, my big thing these days is the African presence in museums. Mm -hmm. I think we can reconstruct the entire history of the African world, at least in large measure, by the artifacts of African people in museums around the world. In fact, that's the subject of my upcoming book. I'm working on a new book called Beautiful royal and divine, the African image in the ancient world. And so this Sunday at 10 a.m., I'm going to take a small group of people on a tour of the Detroit Institute of Art, focusing on the African artifacts or artifacts that are directly relevant to the African experience. And this is a kind of a fundraiser for the ongoing museum researches that I'm doing. Next month, I travel to uh, the UK, especially London, from there back to Cairo, from there to Vienna, and then to Hanover, Germany, in each case, in the museums, photographing um, with a new camera the, the hundreds of artifacts of African people on display in these places. Right. So I'm encouraging people to come out. We only have room for a small group of people, perhaps 20. Okay. And it's for itself will last about 90 minutes. We'll look at Kemet, of course. Mm -hmm. We'll also look at the African presence in West Asia. We'll look at the African oh. presence oh. in the European Renaissance. Mm -hmm. And we'll look at the African experience mm -hmm. in colonial um, America. So it's going to be interesting and it's going to be unique. It'll be the first time I've actually led a group through that museum. And uh, I'm excited about it. 
Absolutely. So that is going to be Sunday, August 27th, 2017, 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. at Detroit Institute of Arts, 5200 Woodward Avenue, Detroit, Michigan, 5200 Woodward Avenue, Detroit, Michigan. You have to reserve your space. You can't just show up. I don't think. They can't just pop up. You have to reserve your space because it's a limited amount of space. Now, Renoko, how much is it for youth 17 years old and under? For youth 17... Uh, years and older, I believe it's free. Okay, that's what the Facebook uh, event by, uh, event yes. invite says. So, okay. Under 17 is free. Okay. Adult, that is anybody over 17. <laughs> right. It's $20 per person. Okay, youth, youth 17 and under are free. Bring the youth. They need to see this, okay? So once again, for all of this, people can uh, call 323-803-8663, 323-803-8663. Eight six six three. The preferred uh, uh, form of contact, however, is Renoko's email address: Renoko R U N O K O at hotmail dot com. Renoko R U N O K O at hotmail dot com. And um, also, there's a GoFundMe page here uh, for you to reserve in advance using GoFundMe campaign. So they can go to the GoFundMe campaign and pay there. Also, is that what that is? Yeah, the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. In any case, is to go to my website, which okay. is drrenoko.com. That's D R R U N O K O uh, dot com. You can go to the my GoFundMe page is posted there. Okay. But you can also get an update about my books, my lectures, classes, upcoming tours, et cetera, et cetera. So between the phone number, the email address, the web page, I'm very, very accessible. Okay, D R R U N O K O dot com, Renoko dot com. Go to his website, one stop shop, everything right there. Detroit, come on out. I'll be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, man. I'm going to pay for uh, the tour for myself tonight uh, when I get back to the office. Um, let's see, uh, but uh, do, you, do you have time to take a call? Um, we got a. Sure, I'd be oh, happy. Oh, 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 okay, uh, let's go to Frank Line One. Hey, Frank, quickly, we only have Renoko for a few more minutes. Go ahead quickly with your uh, question, uh, Frank. I'll stand by, Mike. I had a question for you. Okay, stand by. We'll, we'll hold you till after the break, uh, Frank. Let's go to Alan quickly, line two. Alan, welcome to the African History Network Show. Go ahead quickly with your question for uh, Renoko. Yes, Mike, this is uh, Alan Tabor. How you doing? I'm having trouble with safety and engineering. Okay. You put it signs on um, so the Mike Duggan side, uh, the Brother Coleman A. Young's church. Okay. Hey, 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 Alan, Alan, we're going to hold you, Alan. We'll hold you to after the call because we're speaking with Renoko. Something about Mike Duggan, deal with that after after we get finished with Renoko. Okay. We, we, he, he's very busy. Okay. So, um, once again, you can visit drrenoko.com, drrenoko.com for more information. They can order your books there as well, Renoko. What's your most recent book you've written? Because I know you, you got them coming out uh, like each month. <laughs> What's your most recent book you've written? Well, I wouldn't go quite that far, but I do have <laughs> two books that have come out this year. A children's book called Asata Garvey and Me, A Global African Journey. It's my first book for children. And then I have my absolute newest book. It's called My Global Journeys in Search of the African Presence. So for me, Africa is everything. We are a global African people. Africa is the base. Africa is the root. Africa is the branch, but many extensions all over the world, and I think that we represent that. So, Brother Michael, I appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate oh, thank you, brother. Your love. You know, I admire and respect you, and I look forward to seeing you and a large segment of the Detroit community this weekend. All right, brother. Well, look, you have I admire and respect you as well, man. You have a great night. I will see you this weekend, brother. Hotel. Be strong. Hotel. All right, brother. Okay, so that was uh, the one and only Renoko Rashidi. This brother, I've been, you can go and listen to the archives of my interviews at AfricanHistoryNetwork.com. AfricanHistoryNetwork.com. You'll hear interviews I've done with Renoko Rashidi over the past few years. And he has traveled to 120 islands and countries around the world. He takes pictures, documenting these also. Um, uh, Frank, call back in with your question. Frank, call back in with your question. Okay, um, so we're coming up on a break. Also, in the, uh, so the Facebook event invites, we're going to post those on our Facebook fan page, The African History Network, The African History Network. They also give 
uh, two other contact numbers, 313-718-6008, 313-718-6008, or 313-646-3375, 313-646-3375. Those are contact numbers for the Friday and Saturday uh, lectures at True Oracle of God Ministries uh, Church, 1500 East State Fair uh, at Hall Street, okay? We're going to post these uh, uh, events on our Facebook fan page, the African History Network, the African History Network, and my personal page, Michael M. Hotep, I-M-H-O-T-E-P on Facebook. Send me a friend request on my personal page, and uh, let me know how you found out about me as well, okay? All right, we'll be back in a few minutes. When we come back, we'll go to Frank. Uh, line one, you listen to the African History Network show, 9, 10 a.m., the Superstation, the Voice of Detroit, calling number 313 2099 313 2099 We'll be back in a few minutes.